We're Bentgate Brewing. I'm Colin. And I'm Dan. And today we are installing a fermenter. And it's heavy. Yeah. All right, let's just set it. Ugh. Ready? All right, it's coming your way. Hey. Colin, wake up. We gotta install the fermenter. Oh shit. Today's a big day for us because we are doubling the capacity of our brewery with another Brew Tools B150. F150. F150, that one. And so uh, next step is we actually have to get this down into the basement. It's just a glorious 62 kilos. Yeah, it's, it's not, we'll handle with care. That's 31 a person. Let's uh, see how this goes. Yeah. Oh, it's not that bad. It's glorious. Ugh. <laughs> You good? Yep, just riding on slicks. Yeah, it's slippery. This is my shitty handle. Oh, it's a shitty handle? But it's okay. We got it. It's a classic shitty handle situation. Woo! We will love and cherish you. I guess let's unbox this shit. you like that very extravagant opening. Turns out we didn't even need this in the first place because <laughs> you just lift it up. Damn it. <laughs> All right, watch the, watch the bulb. Got a bulb situation here. I remember this being a problem the first time. <laughs> oh, to the back, to the back. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Woo! Ta-da! <laughs> and that's how you actually unbox the F-150. <laughs> Well, it's uh, certainly cold. <laughs> Hello in there. <laughs> so it goes on. Exactly. I'm a Brutals man, I'm a Brutals man. <laughs> so it keeps you warm uh, to minus 20. Oh, it even has a crotch lamp. Yeah, you can. Pee, so that way, if you need to, if I have to relieve myself, <laughs> it's got a relief valve. Exactly. Or for, for it accommodates lots of sizes. <laughs> got holes. I got holes. I got holes in area codes. There we go. Get this over. Ready? Like, will you zip my dress for me? Oh no, I messed it up. I let down the unit. Quality zipping. Could you help get me in this one? Two man. <laughs> one, one zipper. zipper. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Our OnlyFans link below. <laughs> yeah, this is a classic two man, one zip. I'm gonna, I'll squeeze it together. Okay. And you give it a zipperoo. I think we're, we're making them, we're making it look very hard. Assemble. <laughs> it's not that hard. We're just stupid. Look, <laughs> look how frosty it is. It's insane. Woo! I really want to lick it. Ow! <laughs> and a cut. And watch this giant box slides right out. I'm very aroused. Woo! Ooh, a whole bag of goodies. Right, so that should be ish close. It's three yeah, up. I'm up just here. trying to find the holes. <laughs> Maybe your sex tape. Up a little more. Yeah, get those bolts in there, boy. If you've never used one of these, these are the best. Check this out. I'm a paradox file. Yeah, this is an ASA. Eh? That's what they sound like. Still uh, minus 15 outside, so a bit chilly. And we have the task of actually moving our fermenter. I think we could just carry it. Like, yeah, it's chill. Nice and deep like. We got our uh, very scientific leveler. Level. Damn. Nice. It's green. It's green. We also got uh, part in the abs game. 
Ugh. We also got extra accessories, which we will talk about. We have a awkward shower head. <laughs> Fly call tubing, which will install another day. The obligatory coasters from Brew Tools. Love you guys. Now let's just do a montage of us installing everything. Stick around because we'll show some bits and bobs that we actually added that don't come with it that we think are super useful. So um, let's get on with it. Alright, we finished the installation and just wanted to go through a little bit of the features that we've added to it that do not come standard. So the first thing you can see is we've actually um, added a spunding valve and moved that down. So instead of having the spunding valve on top, which we found gets some croys in and it gets quite dirty, we actually added this little section which allows us to actually have the vent and also the spunding valve lower and they stay much, much cleaner. Second, we've also added the heating element, it is cold in here. We've actually been heating up, but in the winter it can get down to four degrees Celsius. So we need to heat these beers up while, so they ferment properly. We've also added the carbonation stone. This allows us to dial in our carbonation after spunding. So we both do natural carbonation as well as carbonate with our carbonation stone. And then finally, the last thing that we add is the sight glass at the bottom, mostly just because it's pretty and we wanna see our beer, but it also is actually aids a lot when we're dumping yeast and uh, trub. So you can kind of see where it is and if you have any more. You might be wondering why we got another F-150 and not the F-300. Well, to be frank, we wanted the F-300, but we do have a small brewery and unfortunately it just didn't quite fit. The F-300 with the hop drop kit was about this tall. So that was a problem for us. We also opted for a butterfly valve on top, which you can see here in this fermenter. We have one hop trap kit, but you need a butterfly valve for this. So we will also install that, but we only have one of these because we don't plan on dry hopping at the exact same time every time. Also, full disclosure, we did receive a discount on these from Brew Tools, so thank you so much. But also, the opinions of, and everything are our own, so this is not a sponsored video at all. Before we're able to brew this, we need to clean this. So, let's get cleaning this motherfucker. Work today, think I need a holiday. You know I got some money from my melodies. We can go to Italy. All right, well, that does it for this video. Thanks for joining. And if you'd like to actually see us use this fermenter, you could click the link here. As well, if you're interested in seeing how we hook this up to our glycol chiller there, then um, click this link. Otherwise, uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, peace. Bye.